progression of the plan of the enslavement of humanity proceeds down its apparently inevitable path, and mankind as a whole stumble along into the planned containment. It is difficult to include within these messages the information that is necessary to be known without triggering fear. Yet, fear is most effective attention device and one that is planned to be used to the full degree of its potential to shock people into full awareness. Thus, it is necessary that the plan for the new paradigm include utilizing this planned episode to its advantage. In other words, to divert this potential to fit within the plan to return humanity to its rightful place within the flow of creation. In order to accomplish this, these must be able to transcend the planned response and quickly attain and retain the observer mode. Without this ability, the capacity and competency to accomplish their mission that will be critical in that moment will be lost, as these who choose to become part of this plan make it a point to become aware of the plans. Knowing it is a necessary component of the foundation upon which the birth of the new paradigm rests. It will allow the observer mode to be experienced into wisdom. It will be easy to lapse into emotional reactions. However, the emotions are not to be the controlling factor. Creation is logical. Therefore, in order to create, manifest into reality a new paradigm of experience, those doing so must focus within logic. It certainly would not be logical to accomplish this by joining in the reaction that is intended by the enslavers. It then becomes necessary that there is a critical number of humans that rise above their natural inclination to be part of the intended mass reaction. In order to do this, these self-chosen individuals singularly or in small groups will find it necessary to inform themselves of as much of the plan as possible. It will be necessary to embrace their feelings about these plans within the full knowledge that it is for the purpose of experiencing them into the purposeful wisdom of obtaining the observer mode. It is through this observation ability that clear and logical decisions can be made in the moment, not in retrospect when it is too late to accomplish what would have been possible in the precious moment lost. The necessary information can be quickly learned within small discussion groups or listening to Robert on the Law of One channel. Why not? I'm here for you, my sisters and brothers. For then, the material available through the yet free flow of books, the radio shows, and the internet can be researched and shared. It must be considered in the sharing that the plans that will be revealed are not as much the flat pieces of a jigsaw puzzle being fitted together as they are a holographic puzzle. 
To illustrate that concept, there are wooden or plastic puzzles that create a sphere when placed together in the proper combination. These are more challenging than the flat puzzles, and the intricacy involved illustrates the extent to which the planning of hundreds of years has been required to bring so many to such an effective point. It then will also illustrate all that can be negated through the simplicity of a plan that is devised within the flow of creation compared to one that is not. The complication facing the messengers of creation, which is indeed what each one committed to the new paradigm project is, is spearheading the consciousness change from victimhood to self-empowerment. It appears that only through desperate circumstances is the programmed human willing to give up deeply ingrained beliefs through the experience of these beliefs has not brought to them the promised benefits. The practice in holding on to these takes them deeper and deeper in a downward spiral as they continue to fail to come to the realization that doing more of the same thing that does not work will not make it work. Fear of the unknown locks them into unproductive behavior and illustrates the limitation of the victim consciousness that is being promoted to the maximum extent in this gross exploitation and degradation of the humans on this planet. The question put to each reader of this material is whether or not to remain within the group headed to inevitable misery, deaths, or enslavement as further mutilated survivors, or to climb out onto the rock of observation. Once outside the mass awareness, that is truly a lack of awareness. Then the mission becomes twofold. Gathering others willing to assist and together birthing the new paradigm. It is hoped that complexity will be avoided and simplicity will be strictly adhered to. It is complexity that scatters the focus. The more simple the focus, the more quickly the manifestation will occur. Further, those not resonating quickly to the information are to be released and allowed to remain where they are. The seed is planted, and those may yet follow at a more appropriate time. Never attempt to convince anyone. Like the folk hero Johnny Appleseed, plant and move on to the next possible appropriate contact. Though the planter may not observe the result, by the law of averages is assured, releasing each contact to their own. Destiny is practicing the law of allowance. When it is unnecessary to defend the comfort zone, logic will often filter through the emotions, and these may seek the planter out when it is obvious there is no necessity to defend their beliefs. The desire for a solution to the intuitional awareness that all is not well is the field of opportunity for the entrance of a new archetype or ideal mode of experience. 
The coin of impending disaster has on its other side the opportunity for its opposite. What might be called heaven on earth, in the Christian idiom, a hope contained in all religions. It would seem that to be an instrumental part of providing earth's people the opportunity to experience this dream into reality would be a worthy goal. The choice lies within both logic and emotion as it is pondered carefully.